my name. My real name. His name is Egon Targaryen. Is Egon Targaryen. You know nothing about HBO Jon Snow's spin-off series. Until now. Once upon a time, the idea of a Game of Thrones spin-off show was once an internet rumor. But, with the highly successful release of the House of the Dragon spin-off, the status of another Game of Thrones sequel is being addressed. And it looks like our favorite King of the North is set to return. So today we're looking at everything we know about the upcoming Jon Snow spin-off series. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. HBO has officially entered early developments with their next show, as Kit Harington returns to reprise his role as Jon Snow in the long-awaited Game of Thrones sequel series, focusing on his character following the events of the hit series. Meaning there are now at least seven spin-offs in various stages of development, including this year's House of the Dragon, which topped the box office with its first season, which tells the tale of the events that lead up to the Civil War. Other shows in development include 10,000 Ships with Amanda Sedgel, The Sea Snake by showrunner Bruno Heller, and The Tales of Dunk and Egg by showrunner Steve Conrad. Three animated series are also in the works, while one live-action prequel was denied a series order after a pilot was filmed. Though throughout all the shock and heartbreak that came with the Game of Thrones series and losing some beloved characters along the way, Jon Snow made it to the end and became a strong fan favorite, so of course, fans are ecstatic to learn of his return. Since completing his run on Game of Thrones, the actor has appeared in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, co-starring in the 2021 Eternals and recently starred in the National Theatre live production of Henry V. But fans are eagerly waiting for the return of Jon Snow and after months of silence on the spin-off show topic, the two-time Emmy-nominated actor is now offering his first insight into what's to come with Jon Snow. At a Game of Thrones fan convention this month, Harrington was quizzed on Snow's outcome in the Game of Thrones finale. He discovers his true identity as Aegon Targaryen, an heir to the Iron Throne, after killing Emilia Clark's Daenerys. He's exiled from Westeros and sent off north of the Wall of the Wildlings to start anew. I think you asked him, he would have felt he got off lightly at the end of the show when we find him in that cell, he's preparing to be beheaded and he wants to beat. He's done. The fact he goes to the Wall is the greatest gift and also the greatest curse. He's gotta go back up to the place with all this history and live out his life thinking about how he killed Dany and live out his life thinking about Igret dying in his arms and live out his life thinking about how he hung Ollie and live out his life thinking about all of this trauma. Harrington went on to say that Snow is in fact not okay after returning to the Wall. Although Harrington did a great job at keeping the show's premise under wraps, it gave fans an insight into what can be expected from his character as he comes to terms with his dark past and actions. After the news first broke on the Jon Snow spin-off, Harrington's co-star Amelia Clark, who plays Daenerys Targaryen, revealed that she and Harrington have spoken about the spin-off and that she knows it exists. She said, It is happening, adding, it has been created by Kit as far as I can understand, so he's in it from the ground up. Author of Game of Thrones George R. R. Martin added that it was in fact Kit that took the idea to them revealing that the show is partially staffed as well and Harrington is leading them all. Martin also assured fans that he was 100% involved, adding that Kit's team had visited him and worked with himself and his own team of writers and consultants to hammer out the show. Also confirming that outlines, treatments, and scripts have been written, notes have been given, and second and third drafts have been written. Although this time no official plot points have been announced, there's plenty fans are hoping to see happen. It'd be awesome to see some returning characters, I mean out of the few that survived the course of Game of Thrones, such as Tormund Giants Bane and Samwell Tarly. We'd love to see flashbacks to a young Jon Snow and the lessons he learned from Ned Stark, how Jon comes to terms with his true identity of Igan Targaryen, and there's no reason the show has to restrict itself to the humans of Westeros. We're sure there's a vast undiscovered world beyond the Wall with new magic, tribes, and civilizations that are yet to be uncovered. The possibilities for the Jon Snow spin-off are endless. But fans will have to wait a little longer to see what is awaiting Jon Snow. And while we wait, we want to know what you want to see in the Game of Thrones spin-off, Snow. Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more awesome content. Thanks for watching. Make sure I'm not alone. The story is difficult, but